Hello, everyone. I'm Joanne McLean, and welcome to another episode of This Is Leadership Podcast, your intersection between your growth and your leadership. Today, we are December 12th. We're inching closer and closer to the holiday season. I'm sure that you've got some decorations up. I know we have, and I'm sure that you've gotten through most of your shopping list. Maybe I have, and I've still got a few gifts left to, to buy, but you know what? That's how it is every year. So listen, let's get to today's episode. Uh, it's actually part one of two, and I'll be talking about, you know, what are some of the elements that we need to work in order to bring a team together. So in this first part, I'll be talking about three elements in particular that we need to work on, and that those are vision, a connection and trust. So, you know, how do these three elements come into play when we're building connection, trust, uh, collaboration within the team, and how can it help our team to be even, you know, stronger and uh, allow us to be able to reach new heights? So, I hope you'll like this episode. Let's get to it. Hey, everybody, I'm Jordan McLean from Inspire Leadership Coaching, and this is Leadership Hacks. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's great to see you back for another episode of Leadership Hacks. I am Jordan McLean, your host, and I hope you're enjoying the content, all the great content that's on this YouTube channel. Make sure to tell your friends and your colleagues about it and tell them to come on over and check out all the great stuff that's available on this YouTube channel. So listen, today I thought we'd talk about, you know, the things that bring a team together. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work lately in terms of team building, how to capitalize on everybody's strength on the team and how do we go about to making sure that each individual individual person is also developing on that team. So, you know, I thought we'd talk about that today, but before we get started, guys, as you know, all our other videos, we got to talk about the reasons why we are happy today. So 52 reasons why I'm happy today is the name of this little card set that I picked up at the store. And what we do, if this is the first your first time here on Leadership Hacks, welcome. Now, what we do is we pick randomly one card. And that one card is going to tell us a reason why we're happy today. And then we're going to talk a little bit about that reason why we're happy today. So I'm shuffling the card, the deck of cards right now, guys. And I am going to pick one right now. So here we go, guys. The reason why I am happy today and the card that was picked is I am proud to be me. I am proud to be me. So this is an excellent card because it's so important to be proud of the things that we accomplish in life be proud of the contributions that we've brought to our team, to our business, to our family, to our loved ones. It's important to stop, right? You've got to stop the machine. You've got to stop and take a step back and reflect and say, listen, you know what? I've accomplished a lot of great things. I've touched a lot of lives. Uh, and it's important for me to be proud of that, right? We've accomplished. We're working hard. Everybody that's watching this, I'm sure you're working hard. You know, you want the best out of everybody. You want the best out of yourself. And it's good to stop and to celebrate yourself as well. We're good at celebrating other people, and that's great. That's fantastic. But it's also important to stop and, you know, to celebrate the things that you've accomplished and the things that you're proud of, because that'll have a direct impact on our self-esteem, right? On how good we feel about ourselves. And often that is what will give the wind in our sails to be able to push us even further and push us forward to the next big thing. So, you know, be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Take the time. Celebrate. Go get yourself a, a, a little present. Give yourself a little present, a little treat, you know. It's important to take that time and to say, listen, I work hard, you know. I, I put always put my best foot forward. I always try to be the best version of myself every day. And the things that I've accomplished are important. And you know what? I'm really proud of that. And I've got something to contribute, be it to my business, to my team, to my school, to my family. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of what I bring to the table. So make sure you take time, guys. And you be proud about yourself and you celebrate yourself. So let's talk about and get right into the things that bring a team together. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk, talk about three things in particular today in this Leadership Hack episode. And the first one here is vision. So the first element that I'd like to talk about in terms of things that bring a team together is vision. And often when I talk about vision, is shared vision, right? So people need to know in the team, people need to know, you know where they're going. Everybody's got to be on the same page in terms of where we're going. So it's so important to have the conversations pertaining to vision. Now, I'm not talking about that regular vision statement where we'll have a plaque on the wall and it's a beautiful vision statement, but everybody forgets about it, right? And we can walk down the hallway in any business or any school and ask a random person, you know, what is your school vision? Would they be able to answer that question? Or what is the vision for your business? So when we talk about having a shared vision, you know, we're talking about everybody contributing to what that vision is and make that vision really clear and really simple. Now, 
here is a great trick is we got to come back to that vision very often. So let's say, you know, you've got a great vision for the next year or two, or even long-term vision for your business or your school, and you want to keep that vision alive, right? So not only are we going to be doing activities that are around that vision, but we need to bring that vision back, right? Every single chance that we get to put that vision on the table, you know, we have to do that. Uh, in every meeting, take one to two minutes to come back on that vision and talk about it with the people and make sure with the people on your team and the people in your school or the people in your business that that vision is still, you know, what we see ourselves working towards, you know, that end goal, how we want to be, that everybody is still on board and that we all have the same definition or the same picture of what that vision is. Often when things go awry, well, it's because people have different definitions of what that vision is so some people will think it's one thing and other people will think it's something completely different so if we're all going in different directions then we're obviously not working towards that shared vision so number one you got to have the vision number two it's got to be very very simple and clear number three it's got to be built by everybody on your team or in your school and number four you got to bring it back to the table very often Talk about it as much as you can. If you're in a school system, we should be talking about vision at every PD day, at every uh, team meeting. Uh, you know, every chance that you get, bring that vision back. So we're going to put this one right here. Vision, number one thing that brings a team together. Now, the second thing I'd like to talk about is connection. Now, this is a very important thing that brings a team together is connection, right? And the reason why connection is important is because connection gives a sense of belonging, right? We're human beings, guys. So we are built uh, biologically to exist with other human beings. We're not biologically built to be alone. So one of the biggest human need is the need to feel like you're part of something, that you're part of a group, that you're part of a family. And when we talk about making connections and making sure that in our team, our school, our business, we're making those connections. Well, it's, it's doing in the sense that it's encouraging collaboration. It's encouraging people to want to speak up. It's encouraging them to feel safe to be able to speak up because we're developing um, a community where we want people to be able to say what they think, where we want people to connect. And we want people to know that whatever goes on within our team, it's always in the best interests of the individual and the team. And that there is never, ever any ill will, right? So if we're able to connect, if we're able to develop those relationships, relationships and connect in that way, we build that trust, right? And if we build that trust, then we can go a lot further with our team. So in terms of bringing the team together, we have to make sure that we're making the time to build connections, right? And that can be done in different ways. It could be the activity with reasons why I'm happy. You know, you can pull that out and, and, and people are, are going to talk about the reasons why they're happy and that gets us to get to know them even better, right? So we're building connections, right? And outside of work as well, you know, it, it doesn't always have to be about business. <laughs> you know, when you see somebody at work, well, you can ask him, you know, how was your weekend? You know, how's your son doing? I heard he did really well in his soccer game. We can go beyond what, what the work scope is and just demonstrate that we're really interested in that human being that is in front of us, right? We want to know about them. We want to connect with them because the time that we are together at work, at school, in our business, in our families, we have to maximize that time, right? We want to make sure that we're taking advantage of every second that we're building, that we're connecting, and that we're strong together because the stronger we are together, the further we can go together. So connection, guys, we got to make the time to work on that. Got to make the time to get to know each other. And this is definitely a huge factor that brings teams together. Now, here's the third and last one for this episode. It's a doozy, guys. Trust. Wow. Trust is a big one. So this is like a cornerstone of a team, right? Now, I just talked about connection and how connection builds trust. Now, the only way that a team or a business, uh, colleagues, a family are able to get as far as they can and to maximize their impact is by developing trust, right? Because if we don't trust our colleagues, if we don't trust our boss, if we don't trust our family members, we're not going to be able to accomplish as much as we can. We're not going to be able to become 
and, and, and be able to function at a level that we have the potential of functioning at. And that's just, and that's sad. I find that sad that we're not able to capitalize on that because there is no trust. Now, things will happen, you know, like it does it, and life happens. And sometimes we'll have things that go on at work or during the, or in our families and that and the trust takes a hit, right? But we got to make sure that we've got the mechanisms and the tools to be able to rebuild that trust. You know, trust is like seasons. It can go up a little bit and it can go down a little bit depending on what happens. But the important thing is that the more we work on that trust, the more that people know that whoever is around me in my team, in my school, in my business, that person, I trust that they're there because they want what's best for me and they want what's best for them and they want what's best for the team. So if I can develop that level of trust with the people that, that I surround myself with, be it in my family and my business and my school, then the potential of what we can reach and the heights that we can reach is just unbelievable, right? And the more trust that we have, coming back to number two here, connection, we're building even more connections when the, that trust gets even bigger and bigger, right? And if we got a huge, a lot of trust and we've got a lot of connections, then what's the impact on the vision, on that shared vision? I think it just brings everybody closer together, right? It, it allows us to be able to see a little bit more through the same pair of eyeglasses, right? It's like, okay, I understand you. I trust you. I've developed connections with you. I've got to know you. And I think we can really, really roll this boat in the same direction here and that we're really going in the same direction. So that just solidifies, right, everything that we're doing and it allows us to go even further than what we've ever gone before. So guys. These are the first three things. In the next episode, I'll talk about other things that help bring a team together. But today, guys, we talked about the importance of having common vision, developing connections, and building trust. So these are the first three cornerstones, if you want, of things that bring a team together. And that if you're a leader in your environment and everybody is a leader in their respective environment, you know, what are you doing to make sure that everybody's got a common vision that you're contributing to that? Are you connecting? Are you helping others connect as well? Are you creating the opportunities for connection? And third, trust. You know, how are you building that trust? Are you actually intentionally, you know, uh, doing things that show people that, you know, the reasons why you're there is to build yourself, is to build others, and is to build the team. So are you, are you really working on that trust piece? And if you have a leadership role within your organization or your business, are you taking the time to talk about these things? Even just talk about it right? Are you taking time to ask people questions? Asking them what they think, you know? Do we have a good trust level in our organization? Are we making time to connect? You know, aside from just the usual times like at Christmas and Halloween, and there are always times that are a little bit stronger where there, there are traditional activities, but going beyond that, you know? How are we building connections? And do we have a common vision and a shared vision, right? So if you got a leadership position in your organization and we'll ask yourself that question what am i doing to develop these three things right guys so listen i hope you've uh, taken away something that's going to be useful for you make sure to keep watching leadership hacks and to keep coming back to this youtube channel it's a great channel it has some great content once again joan mclean from inspire leadership coaching i'll see you next time on leadership hacks mm -hmm.